DJ. Nikiwa nikimuona baba mimi huwa nachangamuka. Sijui ni kitu gani nilipata kwa baba. Mheshimiwa Munya Sijui nita kui describe namna gani. One of the most honest trusted so many honest, honest trusted, trusted and direct. And direct. He speaks his mind. <laughs> Mheshimiwa baba Unajua ukiwa mahali mimi utetemeka. Sijui eh, ni figo ama ni nini. Na hiyo kutetemka kwangu ni furaha. Because of baba tuko hapa. And because of baba I am alive. And because of baba hata wewe ndio ufanye namna hii kuniondoa kwa baba wewe mwenyewe ndio utajiondoa. Mheshimiwa Eugene Wamalwa. Mheshimiwa Pio Wandai. Mheshimiwa wa Kitui nimekula kwako najua vile uko na mrembo kanatengeneza chakula mzuri. <laughs> Ningependa kusema hivi. Kwanza ningetaka kumshukuru baba na ningetema ningetaka kukosoa pia sio baba. Na ningetaka kumuonya mheshimiwa Munya kwamba ukienda Bungoma ukienda Bungoma tafuta Eugene. Ukienda Bungoma tafuta baba. Ukienda Bungoma tafuta wajakoya. Manake kule kuna mkatili fulani kule sitataja jina lake. Ambaye kazi yake ni kulin kungojea wale wanasiasa wenzake. Wakienda Bungoma anatengeneza mawe. Na hiyo mawe anatoka wapi Uganda. Na anatengeneza watu na visu kwenda kupiga wengine na kuangamiza kule Bungoma. Baba sijui kama nasema ukweli. Bwana Munya ukienda huko mheshimiwa chunga there is a politician from Bungoma county a man who can never be elected apart from fear causing fear among people a man who has put other people's lives at stake because another he wants to please Ruto let me bring it out clearly that we are aware of him and we are also going to warn him akienda mahali pengine Kenya Musimfukuze welcome him but ujinga wake na mimi ndio nimesema utaisha before 2027 tumenipigia makofi tamani that man should know that Kenya of today is a Kenya of young and old is a Kenya of men and women is a Kenya of people who have gone through the transition the transition of democracy led by none other than Raila Molodinga. A man who has suffered, a man who has endured suffering, a man who has been in prison, a man who has been fed in so, on so many things, but he refused to die because his spirit is still alive. It's because of that spirit of Raila Molodinga that all of us are here. It is because of that spirit that some of us want to smell and get away with a bit of it. So that we can come to self-realization. And we as members of Roots Party, please, if you have joined Munyas, na una tumianga ele kitu ingine, tafadhali kaa huko. <laughs> Tutakuitaji huko. Manake najua hata kwa kina Munya kule, wakani likuwa natangaza kuwa rais, ningi likuwa nataka kuwa perekea kiwanja hapo isiolo ndiyo. Sasa tukimea ile ingine na hii ingine, tunatua hapo tukipereka huko inje. <laughs> Lakini baba atakamalisha hiyo. Kwa sababu baba niambia, akichukua, ataweka ka kitu ingine hapo isiolo. Surely Baba, I want to ask you openly, notoriously, and in front of everybody. Kwamba, what was Isiolo, or Isiolo County, Isiolo should be made the capital city of Kenya. Nimesema ama sijasema? Na Nairobi should remain an industrial city. Because with Isiolo being a capital city of this nation, the people of Meru, the people of Garissa, the people of any other neighboring from Mount Kenya will have easy access to the international market. Kutakuwa na kuajiriwa kazi pale, ma hospitali zita pandwa pale, zita jengwa pale, puna mtu haita kufa kutoka ukikija Nairobi. Na hiyo mina muamba baba afikiria because baba you are the president. Ilichukuliwa tu lakini you are the president. Na hiyo yote ni malilio ya watu wa Ruth's party. Ili wa meru mahali wa mekaa, wakamba ambao natoka eastern, waria wote mahali walioko, na wa islamu wote ambao wako pande hiyo, wawe na access to the international market because what they are producing today can help this country rejuvenate economically, 
we can move on because Nairobi is congested. Let us have a mindset of moving away from here and devolve our capital city. Finally, I'm also asking Baba to reconsider bringing in three tiers of government. It was Baba's original idea, but then we are for it in Roots Party. And Mwishmiwa Munya also want to look at it that way. So that we have a federal government. Federal meaning regional government. So that we can have counties within a state. So that we can have counties within a state. Ndi Wakuria, wawe na county yao. Wateso, wawe na county yao. Watu wa Saboti, wawe na county yao. Lakini kwa mrengo ya state. So that we have regional governments. Pale taxation will be easy. We shall have fair taxation. We shall have regional taxation, state taxation, and every state will be given its obligation and duty. We cannot take a, a county like Narok, which produces rice or wheat, hides and skins, meat and milk and tourism. Pesa mba inatoa pale inapereko central government. Ili wapewe kidogo. Iyo ni uongo. Watu wa Narok wanitakana wakai kwa county yao, wakiwa na regional assembly na kuru, ili waseme wakwamba ile pesa mba imetoka county yetu hapa. How do we develop this fast to us so that we could have a national ceiling? Na nimesema hivyo, tafadhali siku ingine nitaongea, na munya ukija kwetu kakamega, kuna mrembo wa nyumbani kwetu huyu. Tafadhali liku, ukija kwetu kakamega, kwanzia leo kurikrut, utalala kwangu. Semo utalala kwangu. Asante ni sana kwa kwako. Thank you very much. Mimi ni mgeni wake, nitalala kwake. Asante. Sindio? <laughs> Ayo ni muhimu, ni urafiki, Na unaona chama chetu kiko kila mahali. Uyu wamekua member.